Hey guys, welcome back. I believe you have seen the cover of the video. This is a photo of Qingdao Beer, which is one of the most famous beer brands in China. And this also is the oldest beer factory from 1903. If you are a Chinese language learner or speaker, you must know the pinyin system of the Chinese language. When we say the word Qingdao, which is a city in Shandong in China, its pinyin should be Qing Dao, but its English name is likely that have two names, Qingdao and Qingdao. But why are there two different English names or two kinds of different pinyin for one Chinese word? Which one is right? Firstly, I have to say both are right. And just like the Qingdao beer, there is the same situation in Tsinghua University. The word Tsinghua, you need to write Tsinghua, but not this Tsinghua. So in this video, let's talk about this special pinyin system, Yu Zhengzhi pinyin and Wei Tuma pinyin. First of all, today's story begins with this British man, Sir Thomas Francis Wait, whose Chinese name is Wei Toma. In 1842, who arrived in this distant Asian country with the British Expeditionary Army. From this moment, he started his 42 years of life in China. As a diplomat and a sinologist, the Chinese language became one of the most familiar languages. Meanwhile, in China, at that moment, except Fan Qi, which is a complex and old way to have other people knowing the soul of Chinese characters, there were not a phonetic system, just like nowadays Han Yu Pinyin and Zhu Yin Fu Hao. Although Fan Qi is a good way to label the soul of Han Zi, this way actually is not friendly to people who never learned the Chinese characters, even the Chinese native speakers who use the pinyin or zhu yin in the 21st century. If they haven't learned fan qi designedly, they can't use fan qi as a phonetic script. So in the 19th century, when people wanted to create the Chinese language dictionary, the author needed a phonetic system to label the Chinese word thought, and the readers also needed the phonetic script to know how to read this word. Therefore, in 1867, the Chinese language expert Sir Thomas Wade created a phonetic system based on the Latin alphabet system, and this is also the first Latinization pinyin system. Then, in 1892, another Swedish sinologist, Hubert Allen Giles, whose Chinese name is Jai Li Si, completed his Chinese English dictionary. While writing this dictionary, he improved the Latin pinyin system of Sir Thomas Wade. Finally, this phonetic system was used to label the soul of the Chinese characters in his dictionary. So nowadays, Wei Tuma pinyin also is called Wade Giles. In addition, because the Chinese language has many different dialects, the dictionary has to use one dialect as a standard accent for this dictionary, and in Jiao's dictionary, the soul is based on the Beijing Mandarin. So, mainly, this phonetic system is a phonetic system for Beijing Mandarin. So, the word Qingdao on the cover of this video is used with the Jiao's system. If we compare the alphabet of Wei Tuma Pinyin, we can find that really similar, but in fact, Qingdao is not Wei Tuma Pinyin. So, if we want to find the final answer, now we need to know another Latinization system, or be called another Pinyin system, that is the Yu Zheng Shi Pinyin. Chinese postal romanization. This is a system in order to send the telegram, especially be used to spell the Chinese place name, such as Beijing, Tianjin, Nanjing, etc. But actually, from 1871, China had the first telegraph where, in Chinese telegraph long history, there were many telegraph code systems created to write Chinese characters by telegraph, such as this. Yu Zheng Shi Pinyin, or Si Ma Dian Bao. Well, that will be another long story. So let's come back to today's Yu Zheng Shi Pinyin. 
Actually, this pin system was based on the bad gels, and after improved it, can express the sort of variant Chinese dialect, such as Shantou, which is the Chaozhou dialect sold, and Xiamen, which is Southern Min dialect. Meanwhile, in order to make sending telegram easier, some special symbols were removed. It also worth mentioning that this Yu Zhengshi pinyin have very big price from 1900s, not only in China, but in the world. Almost all the Chinese place names, all the universities, or some mentioned Chinese people names, which translate in 19th century or the early 20th century, wrote by Yu Zhengshi Pinyin. Even the film Shang Qi, until the modern Chinese pinyin system, is used in more and more areas going further and then in 1987, in mainland China, this old Sugu pinyin system was replaced totally by the new pinyin, which we can see nowadays. In 2002, finally, in Taiwan, the Chinese character's romanization also changed into the Tong Yong pinyin from Yu Zhengshi pinyin. So now, only the old words such as Sun Zi, Tai Ji, Gong Fu, all the companies such as the world on the cover of this video, all the universities, or all the place English name. So how to spell the Chinese characters with Wei Toma Pinyin or Miu Zhengshi Pinyin? Now let's see some characters. The first one is Qing. This character is one of the characters in Tsinghua University's Chinese name. And the second one is Qing. Okay. Now we have two characters. In Chinese Mandarin, both characters sold like Qing, Qing. Right, both their souls are the same in Mandarin. Okay, now it's time to introduce another Chinese language phenomenon, Jianyin and Tuanyin. If you are a Beijing Opera's fan, I believe you can know this phenomenon very well. Jianyin's soul is likely zi, zi, si. You can feel the sword on the top of the tongue. Tuan Yin is like Ji Qi Xi. And the sword position is more big than the Jian Yin. In Chinese standard Mandarin, Qing and Qing have the same sword. But in some Chinese dialect, which can distinguish Jian Yin and Tuan Yin, both characters' sword are different. Qing's sword is like Qing. And this Qing's sword is like Qing. This is the same as Mandarin. Because white gels is a pinyin system based on the Beijing Mandarin, and Beijing Mandarin has very close sold with the Chinese standard Mandarin, and it can't distinguish Jian Yin and Tuan Yin. So, with my opinion, it's hard to distinguish Jian Yin and Tuan Yin. And this point is also one of the key points which was improved in the system of Yu Zhengshi pinyin. So it added three new letters to distinguish Jian Yin and Tuan Yin. In fact, the spelling of modern Chinese pinyin and both old school pinyin systems are the same. All of them need one sheng mu and one yun mu. We can use a pinyin list to spell the character. Just like qing, in modern Chinese pinyin is qi yung qing. In Vietnamese pinyin is qi yung qing. And in Yu Zhengshi Pinyin, it's similar, but there is a little difference, and it's Tsing Tsing. So, in today's video, cover Qing Dao Beer. The word of the brand's name is Yu Zhengshi Pinyin of Chinese characters. And according to this opinion on the picture, we can find that this Qing sword is more likely Tsing, but because now the standard Mandarin is the most popular language in China. So, if you want to buy a Qingdao beer in the shop, you need to say Qingdao Pijiu, but now to the Qingdao Pijiu. Okay, this is a brief introduce of how to spell Vietma Pinyin and uh, Viu Zhengshi Pinyin. To be honest, those old Pinyin systems are really far from my life. So, compared with the modern Hanyu Pinyin, or even Zhu Yin system in Taiwan, both be used among the Chinese speakers. So, for me, it's hardly proficient in using Vietnam Pinyin and Yu Zhengshi Pinyin to spell the words. 
So today, unfortunately, I may have to share with you guys this brief spelling way of Weitong Ma Pinyin and Yu Zheng Shi Pinyin. But finally, I'm going to share with you guys a website. You can click the link in the description and see the alphabet list of Weitong Ma Pinyin in this website. Okay, this is today's video. I hope you can like this video. Have a good day. See you next time.